Galaxy S20. Oh, wow. Whoa. A lot of cameras. 108 megapixels. Ooh, ain't that something, huh? Whoa. Look at that. Most advanced zoom. 10x with up to 100 digital. <sighs> Tell me, who wants to wait? Who wants to wait for AK video recording? Who wants to wait? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and if you notice, the buttons are on the wrong side. So no, I don't have the Galaxy S20. What well, this is is Galaxy Note 10, and you can tell that really not from the front because it has a similar camera cutout, but from the back where you actually see the camera set up and it's different than the Galaxy S20. So, like I said in my video, I didn't want to wait for the Galaxy S20, even though I knew that it's gonna have a huge camera sensor. I wasn't expecting 108 megapixel right away. I mean, I knew that it was gonna be 48 megapixel and a 108 sensor that Samsung was working on and they wanted to put in a mobile phone. It's just, I didn't expect them to actually do it automatically the first hand. I knew that's gonna happen, and yet I did not wait for the Galaxy S20. The reason for that is I wanted a Note. You might have heard it from rumors that Note 10 had a potential of being the last Note from Samsung. There are mixed rumors right now that there's gonna be a Note 20, and there's some rumors that still say, no, Note 10 was the last one. So why did I choose to get the Note? It was the superior best phone you can get from Samsung at that moment, except for the Galaxy Fold, of course. But Note 10 was the superior. And if Note 20 is gonna come out, it will be again a superior phone from Samsung. 8K video recording on the other hand was tempting. However, recording 4K video on your phone tends to get the phone hot, not to mention eats a lot of space. So when you have 8K, that's a lot more data it will heat up the phone dramatically. So I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of time limit on how long you can record actual 8K video. My guess is probably like they mentioned 10 second cap. So great, but that doesn't really help you much if you want to record an actual video. So now knowing all the specs from Galaxy S20, I have no regrets of getting Galaxy Note 10. It is not as good as Galaxy S20, However, I still get all the functions that I need, and they're fairly good. And that extra features as, you know, AK su video support that you can't really use. The 108 megapixel camera, which is actually nice. I, I wish I had it, but it's not a game changer for me. I can still produce nice photos with my regular camera. I mean, I do have wide angle lens, telephoto, you know, I get most basic things that I can, that I need and I get the processor power. One thing I do regret on my phone that I don't have is the high refresh rate on the screen to make it more snappier. You, you really can tell the difference that it's your phone just moves faster. Snap, snap, snap versus snap, snap. Knowing that is it worth spending 1500 bucks? Although Samsung makes it very convincing to upgrade because they're giving you really great deals on the pre-orders of the new Galaxy S20. I mean, you can get as low as 400 bucks if you meet all the criteria. 400 bucks, that's not bad. My Galaxy Note 10, I believe it was around $1,300, something around there. At the end of the day, uh, it cost me only 850, so not bad. I did trade it in my Galaxy S7, which was quite an old phone, and I got 250 bucks for it, you know, and I got a bunch of accessories for it as well. So if you have a Galaxy S7 or Galaxy S8, I mean, definitely upgrade. I think it's a great deal. I mean, especially with the incentives that Samsung is offering, I would definitely pre-order, definitely get on the wagon, because it is a great phone. Is it worth waiting for Galaxy Note 20? If you're looking for that superior phone, then probably yes. But I mean, Galaxy S20 has pretty much everything you will ever need, and then some. So I'm not trying to convince you not to buy the new Galaxy Note 20. However, if you have a Galaxy S10 or Note 10, I mean, it's probably wise just to wait another year and have them 
work out all the kinks with the new tech they're putting into this phone. Especially when your phone isn't bad at all. It's still great functioning phone which has all the superior processor power it needs to function. You will get that edge with the new Galaxy S20. However, you're going to need to spend a lot of money. And if you buy the new Galaxy S20, I'm not judging. But if you are, let me know in the comments below. But please give me a reason why you're buying a Galaxy S20. See you next time.